Hi everyone and welcome back to my final morning report analysis video on Tuesday the 12th of September with me at Japan Market Analyst at Hansit Markets. Let's look at gold. Seen this um, sharp reversal on gold, is it something that is going to be sustainable? Well, we haven't yet seen anything uh, on the momentum indicators that would suggest it is sustainable. I mean, I talked in the morning report this morning about the stochastics, which, yes, have crossed lower, are about to give a sell signal, but they did a very similar thing in August early on, and then also mid-August again. So it's nothing yet that I would suggest that um, you get too worked up about. If you start to see the stochastics falling, I, I suppose, below the 60 level, which is where it was in early August, then, yeah, I think you can start to get a little bit more worked up about it. And that would sort of come at the same point at which the RSI would be below sort of the mid, into the mid-low 50s. Maybe below 50, I think, would probably confirm that on the RSI. MACD lines would be sort of moving, tracking lower then. And that would probably also coincide with this broke... Um, this uptrend which would be breaking down so you haven't yet seen these these factors come into play yet we've seen the market just retreat back towards this this old gap that f got filled at uh, 1327 um, basically around where we're trading at the moment um, I think a close below 1327 would sort of add to this corrective move uh, 1327 was again basically yesterday's close so another negative close today would start to sort of retreat back towards that trench and um, that uptrend but what you have got is the 13 to 13 10 long-term support which is an old pivot which is now supportive that basically tracks that trend higher and also the 21 day moving average which is also sort of providing the basis of support now for the retracements so few technical uh, factors here at play however nothing yet confirmed that this sort of near-term correction is going to turn into a into a medium-term move lower so uh, as long as these supports are in place and uh, we're still sort of using little corrections as a chance to buy but what does concern me as a caveat is that you've got um, sort of a developing run of bear candles but also the fact is that you've got 13.40 was yesterday's high, and there's a gap lower from 14, uh, 13.42.60. That gap lower is still open. So um, that's not great. That could be um, a, sort of a, a breakaway gap from the beginning of that um, of that new trend, potentially. But, um, yeah, just something to, just to keep an eye on, I think, in the next few days. But um, certainly the uh, 1300 to 1310 is the key support. Um, initial support today, today's low, 1322.90. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you.